Now, globally, the number of cases and fatalities from the novel coronavirus changes per second. The Johns Hopkins University reveals that more than 100,000 people have died from the coronavirus uh, in Nigeria. The government says it will do all it can and all that's necessary to minimize the spread. But some Nigerians are asking if the lockdown is still necessary. Within the next 48 hours or 24 hours, the president is expected to make another tough decision. What factors are likely to influence the president's next move? To share with us some insights on domestic issues and global situation of the coronavirus pandemic is Babaji Dogusowo, Channel TV's data consultants. Thank you for being here and a happy Easter to you. You don't look so cheerful. Why? You know, happy, happy Easter to you too. You know, today... Christians remember the rising of the Christ. But let's not be quick to forget that the coronavirus mm. has also gotten out of its tomb. So that's why there are messages of hope. There is hope. There is hope. We've seen lower fatalities globally. But tonight I'd like to quickly talk about three things. And then if we have time, we'll talk about some more interesting facts. The first is what has happened in Nigeria based on the new update. The second will be what is happening in Africa. And third, let's look at the global situation. Let's start with Nigeria. We've seen the new numbers. 323 confirmed cases since the first case on the 27th of February. But here's what we should focus on. Out of the 323 cases, 243 cases have been reported in the south part of Nigeria. I'm talking about the 17 states in the south. In other words, 75% of Nigeria's cases are located in the southern region. Mm -hmm. And in a bit later, I'll explain why this is important. Now, let's look at what's happening in Africa. In Africa, we've seen over 14,000 plus cases, but approximately half of those cases are in South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, and Morocco. Now, what is happening globally? 1.8 million plus cases. More than, yeah. More than. But approximately half of this 1.8 million plus cases are located in three states. America, Italy, and Spain. And that's the summary of what is happening globally in Nigeria and in Africa regarding the coronavirus. So in the last two weeks, individuals and institutions have all been donating billions of naira you know, to fight the coronavirus uh, in Nigeria. Commendable, but how much progress really is being made in reducing the spread and taking care of those who are vulnerable? If we start talking about how the money has been spent, has it been spent wisely or not, we probably wouldn't be able to finish that discussion tonight. Well, here's what I would like to talk about. What you talked about initially, in the next 24 hours, the president will have to make another tough decision. And so let's look at two things that he will most likely consider in making this decision. Mm. The first is, on the 29th of March, Amarachi, when the president made that speech, mm. in Nigeria there were only 10 states, including the FCT, that had cases of the coronavirus. In the last two weeks, nine additional states have seen their first case of the coronavirus. So we've seen first cases in Kaduna, Katsina, and Kano, we've seen in the North Central, Kwara and Niger State, in the Southwest, we've seen in Ondo State, in the South South, Akwai Bom and Delta State have reported their first case, and in the Southeast, we've seen Anambra report its first case. In other words, in the last two weeks, the nine additional states have seen a new cases of coronavirus. But in the final analysis, if there's one thing that the president should consider, it is if we study the chart of the week. And the chart of the week, here's what you find if you look at that. Prior to the president's speech, Nigeria had approximately, and we were moving at the rate of four cases per day. Now we are moving at 14 cases per day. Now let me make myself more clear. Um. February 29th to um, the, the 27th of February to 29th March, we've seen 31 days, 111 cases, four cases per day. Now we are moving at 15 cases per day. And if there's one fact that the president should consider in making this tough decision, it is exactly what is in front of the screen. We've moved from an average of four cases per day to approximately 15 cases per day post the president's speech. So we'll allow him to make the decision tomorrow at least. At the end of the day, the box stops on the des desk of the president, as President Harry Truman says. Exactly. Robert, today, always a pleasure having you on the News at 10. Thanks pleasure again. Is mine.